Wait, can you tell me the name again? It's like a layer cake. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yep. Oh wow, lots of stocked crinoids. There's a fly trap on a crinoid. Or is that a coral? It's a chrysoberja back there too. Uh, it kind of looks like a crinoid to me. Yeah. Yeah. Can you zoom in on that, Dave? Yep. On a crinoid. It looks like a really small one on that plexorid to the left hey, too. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think he can turn on his laser. Yeah, because his, uh, basically his shutter, it's too cold now for it to work. That's another uh, right. Chrysogorgia geniculata. Okay, I'm gonna put another move. Bridge now. Yeah. Let's add three zero meters, two nine five. Looks like a fallen bamboo. Are we still zoomed in? Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Got a lot. Sorry, got, got distracted. No worries. Are we near the top of this? Nope. We've huh. got another. Uh, maybe 100 meters. Start getting towards the top. Hmm. Hmm. What's that one? Primnoid. Oh. Lorella, probably. Also, what's all that white business? I don't know. Zoom in, Dave. Know. It's like spun, encrusting oh, sponge. Is that on is one of the questions here. from the viewers. Look at all what those zoanthids. Oh, zoanthids on a sponge. And that must be the oh. kind of like bottom of the sponge, but it seems to be like an encrusting, like spreading sponge. So many things eating each other over here. Yeah. Um, I think some of these are plexorid, if not all of them. Yeah, I would say these are all plex. Um, wow, cool.
some really large corals. Yeah. Let's not forget about five minutes before we come off bottom, I want to start a 15 minute rock sampling. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've already talked with that in. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our quirks. Actually, that means we only have half an hour then on bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sandbag. <laughs> yeah. Do you actually want to take a rock at him? <laughs> Extending dives is my love language. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> mine is zooming in. Do Do you actually want to take a rock before we leave? I haven't seen one I want just yet, Samantha. But it's still on. A, it's not a no. He's not okay. gonna let the cat out of the <laughs> I think I just saw a stock trussellate sponge. That's just it doesn't work know. if you tell them ahead of time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that really, really tall one? Ooh. Whip on the left. I think it's a bamboo, but what is going on there? I think it's dead, too. Let me zoom in, Dave. Oh, those are polyps. Yeah. Stickopathies? No. I have, it just seems like it should be called stick something. Doesn't yeah. it? Unbranched something. I think it's an unbranched bamboo. Yeah, that's a bamboo. Yeah. Pretty. Wow. So, do the polyps retract simply to protect themselves, or is that when they're like chewing their food? Yeah, to protect themselves. They don't chew. Ooh, well, what, what is, is that? that? What is that? <laughs> Jelly. Jelly? <gasps> Jelly? Oh, yeah. so cute. Can we get a zoom? Oh, what's that thing? That's the glowing eyes of a shrimp. Oh. <laughs> That's boring. Okay. Okay, chucking on. We've confirmed that Steve's not on the science chat, right? Steve is not. Okay, because the question of that coral with the gold skeleton is driving me nuts, and I can't. Oh, we had a. Uh, oh, we ID. have a. We have an oh, ID. What's yeah. ID? It's a primnoid. Let me yeah. get the the name for you. Okay. Um. I think it was clipped. Uh, Clipped to four. Clipped to four. Hold on a minute. There's a little fishy. Paracalyptrophora. 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 Okay, thank yep. you. Now I can sleep tonight. We <laughs> 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 zoom in, Dave. What did you say? What is that? Ooh. Ooh. Some sort of sea star. Oh, and we have a fish. And. Oh, that looks like a rat tail. Question mark? Oh, it's ripe. Yep. Rat tail. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Big eyes. You should. 
Yeah. Down Whoa. here in the depths, you need big eyes to see or not see. Or not. That's a good point. Why would I need yeah. <laughs> so big eyes? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. <laughs> Good for a move. Why, why yep. big guys if Bridge, you don't no? see? Let's do three zero meters, two nine five, please. Is that an Iridi Gorgia? Yes. Got some crinoids on a What's this one again? Are these? Uh, those are primnoids. Uh, There's another one Candidella of these sea possibly? stars or something. Yeah, can you zoom on that sea star, please? In the middle. Zoom in, Dave. Oh, it's okay. crinoid. Oh. An unstalked crinoid. Oh, yes. Nice. I think we're good on that. Right. You know what? Can we look at the orangey one that I called a primnoid? Uh, yep. Give me the Alicia. Could be another uh, Paracalyptrophora. Yeah. Zoom in, Dave. Yeah. I think. Okay. Right. Um, I would give it a tentative idea of Paracalyptrophora. The orange one? Yeah. You know what? Leave it at Primnoid. <coughs> Got it. Thank you. All right. I got to zip ahead. Okay. looking at the screen. <laughs> oh, wow. Lots of them. That's the gold skeleton one, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's the Paracalyptrophora. And I feel like that could be Look a Coralium. Oh, that one's really cool. It's for sure Norella. There's another one of these big, yep. dense rocks. Until I find a more convincing black coral. That is Norella. Where's Steve? Seems to be one of Steve? those. <laughs> my my <laughs> chat won't load, so if he's there, I'm not seeing is it. Is that Victor Gorgia? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Is that another anemone? Yep. Yeah. Let's look at the anemone. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is crazy. Today. Yeah. <laughs> It's your time to shine, anemone. <laughs> Zoom in, Dave. And a tunicate. And it looks like it's eating it. And there's hydroids on that Victor Gorgia. And there's another coral right below it. What's See, that's, that looks like Norella. No, it doesn't. Yes, no? it does. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I just wanted to say no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that is Norella. Um, look, some hydroids are taking advantage of the no, dead but here, coral look above at the anemone. Oh. Okay, wait, I want you to look at this skeleton, because it's darker. See this? Yeah. That's a primnoid. Okay. We do have viewers asking, um, so how would the anemones, anemones be eating the coral <laughs> if its mouth is on the side with tentacles? That is a great question. And one that I do not have an answer to. Uh, I don't know how much uh, is out there in terms of uh, anemone coral relationships. Right. I have not seen so if this much before. Do we want to sample one of these anemones with coral? Yeah, not this can we, one. Be really cool. Can we actually get a clipping of coral with the anemone attached? And they always, they're, Are we, they're always together. Well, hold on. Are we in the middle of a move? We're in the middle of the move, but we can stop. Okay. If not this, then another. They're not gonna squawk. No, but well, I, I guess one question is: Are we gonna get? How are we gonna get a snip of anemone with coral here? We're gonna get a snip of the Very coral cool. with ane the <laughs> anemone. The the dead part at the top. No, below no. the anemone, so we get the anemone and the coral. Anemone. Oh, and the whole the anemone, Roger. Yeah. I think this looks like uh, Calyptrophora, and we want to take this one. You want this one? Yes, please. Yep. Bridge now. As they say, an anemone in the hand is worth two. And this is a. In the coral how bush. are you giving this? <laughs> what hole position, please? I think right. we want to snip. Oop. Um. Snip and. S uh, I don't think we want to slurp this one. No slurp. So you want to try and throw it in a box? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Paula, did you get that ID? Can you repeat it real quick? Calypt uh, Calyptrophora. The spelling is up here. And then the one below it, I think, is Primnoid, or Norella. And uh, this would be a front box operation, I assume. That's fine by me. Oh, wait, I don't know what happened here. It's going to be <laughs> difficult for us. Do you want me to write starboard it? box. Yeah, the no, front box is fine. The okay, starboard okay. front okay. box is open. Right. Thank you, Jules. Yeah. Oh, this is our uh, turning into our predator prey box. I think we have the crinoid with a oh. snail eating it. And... Uh, So I think anywhere here or there. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Sorry, buddy. So I'm Today actually a bit too day. close here. It makes it too awkward. I need to back off a touch. Can you zoom out, Dave? It looks a little bit like uh, like this to me. Hold on. Cool. I might just want to stick to Norella, though. Okay, Dave, can we zoom in again? Oh. Yeah. Mm, so fascinating to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But 
That's down to species, and I don't want to get too cocky here. Hey, quit moving. Um, Paula, can you give me some more leash? Yeah. Maybe yeah, put this ID, down a bit there. but write like tentative or like tentative. a question mark. <laughs> no worries. Um, I'm over I will it. do it. I'm over on top, on top of the we'll edge work right there. as soon as we finish here, so we okay. I can Just like eight meters off write all the details for the sample. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> so what do we think it is now? It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Oh. oh! It broke off. Darn it. And there it is. It's pretty well, fragile coral. Might as well. Can we take Get the, the whole, whole thing? enchilada? The whole enchilada, whole nine yards. The whole gamut. The whole gamut. <laughs> Are you zoom out, Dave? Oh yeah. Far out. <laughs> All right, box open. Box open, no. Tool tray coming out. Well, this is exciting. I'm not like happy that we got the whole coral, but I'm happy that we got the whole coral. <laughs> what do you think is on that uh, Victor Gorgia? It looks like uh, hydroids to me. Yeah. Samantha, are we still moving, are we? Right. Sorry, we're full stop. I was on mute. No worries. Tool tray in for now. Um, let me see if I can just move the camera out and see over the box. Pump it in just a hair. Can you zoom in there, Dave? Tool trail. Uh, I think we're okay. He didn't float out of there, did he? Oh, no, no still, still there. there. Okay. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the corner. Oh, okay. A bit of coral. I can see the, the tail end of it. out a few inches. Yeah.
Is it possible to snip a little bit off the end? Why is that? Um, well, it might just make it fit better, and I we think might lose just, some at the top. I could just push it down in there. Okay. okay. But what if he just closes the drawer and there's just a little bit? Yeah, that'd be fine too. I think just I think just pull that drawer in and. Yeah, two or three in. Sure. Clear. Lovely, thank you. Sorry, no I always forget my glasses. Oh my gosh, do you oh have them on the boat? I did, I find them. I found them yesterday. <laughs> I forgot to bring them. Oh, okay, all right. Do you want to go get them? Marco. No, yeah, Alex, I'm this good is for more now. fun. <laughs> I can't miss on the action, <laughs> but I will definitely bring them tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Science, so, anything else here? No. All good. No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm just going to pull up now a bit. Yeah. RVL, let you get ahead a little bit. Yep. Great. There's a fish. Looks like a. Yeah, it's the same one, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh down there? Yeah. What were you looking at? Nothing. Oh, uh, nothing. Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> you caught. You want to look at that red thing. Oh, yeah. You know. Right. <laughs> you Looks zoom like in a down. rock pen to the side, maybe. Crab, I bet. A crab with an Is anemone. A crab, crab with an anemone. Oh. <laughs> My favorite. There's something under that rock, too. What is that? Could Victor Gorgia. Oh. oh, I see another crab down there. <gasps> yeah, another there's crab, two. I bet it has an anemone. <laughs> Why do they do that? Do we know? Don't know. Uh, it's very decorative. I will look it up. Well, also protection. So right? Protection, Tragedy. right? Protection. Yeah. Camouflage. Yeah, all of the above. In California, we have greater crabs that do the same thing in the inner yeah. tidal, putting kelp and yeah, shells there's and things some on them. Crazy ones there. Yeah. They can put all kinds of stuff on them. Sure do. Oh. Hello, rock. Oh. <laughs> oh. Found it. <laughs> that looked like a paragorgia just under that other rock. Can you zoom in again, Dave? Can we zoom on the coral next what? to the crab? Which the one? Uh, up a little bit on the, the underhang. The little bitty one? The overhang. Yeah. The Oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> uh, can you zoom on the, the pink? Yeah. Oh. I actually don't think that's Victor Gorgia. Can you give me some more leash? Ah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm getting yanked around. So. All right, let's okay, move that's out. All right. uh, Don't. Uh. <laughs> I know that sound. Uh, uh. Can you zoom on that thing? No, I'm not, I'm not asking yeah. you to zoom. I'm giving an ID. Oh, Very okay. gorgeous. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the sound. That is the sound that I make. <laughs> A whole mess of stuff in there, huh? Yeah. 
All right, one more time. <laughs> oh, we're doing zoom it. Wow. It, <gasps> doing it. I'm getting my zoom. Thank you. Oh, there's a zoom. Oh, that's zoom. a shadow. <laughs> I thought there was a third. <laughs> I got really Oh, what's that little coral? That's what we were looking yeah, at. Yeah, that's what we were trying to look oh. at. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not a little zoom we got? That's plenty. That's we, not plenty. No. Oh, oh my god. If you could zoom more, that would be great. No. <laughs> no move. No. <laughs> so all we got. No, no, I'm just I'm watching this? the sonar there. I'm just coming in I close. I don't think it's. I'm just off a wall. Uh, You're moving. <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> no, it doesn't look all right. like it. And we good? I think that one remains a mystery. That one's a mystery. Uh, okay. Someone who comes through this later will tell us. Yeah, we're good. Sipping ahead. Could be a bamboo. Could be a, a little baby bamboo. Uh, yeah, baby bamboo is what I'm going with. Baby bamboo. Baby bamboo. <laughs> 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 I like how that sounded. Oh, there's a big old Whoa. sponge. Dead. Wow. Big old yeah, sponge. Yeah, it's not healthy. Yeah, it's not looking too good. Uh, it's a, so funny, like, if you zoom in on any one of these rocks, yeah. you see a million different things. Right? So we're biasing our observations to big things, basically. That is very true. And a lot of the time... Oh, wow. Look wow. At wow. wow. So okay, oh. so... A whole wall. All right. Is it possible to pause for a moment? <laughs> Ship um, <is> <laughs> Okay. Can we get a water So there's another here? pink thing. Can we zoom in, Dave? I'm really excited about because it looks like the other pink thing. We've got a lot of primnoids, a lot of what I think are plexorids. Most some of the hydroids on that. Prims are I mean, are uh, zoanthids on that. Okay, maybe we'll look at that after. Um, yeah, that's another baby pink. Yeah, another little pink baby. But what is it? Uh Debates me. I don't know what it is. That one looks a little more paragorgia than yeah, the last one. Yeah, it. That one feels a little bit like paragorgia. Okay, I'm gonna look at more paragorgia, guys. Okay. Right, come on. Okay. Well, yeah. Good? That's that's good there. Um. You want to see the high the yeah, zoanthids? I think there's the some zoanthids up here. If we could look at that. Oh, those are for sure zoanthids. Um, would now be an okay time to sample if that's what they turn out <laughs> oh, to be? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. Was that bold of me? I think you knew the answer before you asked. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason we didn't make a ship move. <laughs> Woo, a little crap. What is that little? Aww. I don't know. Do we have a possible ID of your said um, that pink is a corallium you or hemi corallium? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what? That feels right. Yeah. Okay, you want do you you want to try and get that? I they mean, this is a very tough spot to do sample. Do they look alive? If it's a tough spot to sample, we can keep moving. I'm sure we'll see more. Okay. We can keep moving. Is that a little crab? It was uh, a little yeah, squat lobster. And I think those are yeah, some... Yeah, because there's all that other life around it. There's nowhere for me to yeah, push into that. Yeah, that's okay. The, yeah. It's like without running into something. Yeah. We're good. Um, it's another little pinky. Yeah, let's call those Hemi for now. Hemi? Let me, hemi let me look. Let me look at this. Um... They're so little. It's mm. hard to say. Maybe. Uh, you know what? Let's let's keep going. We'll see more. We'll see a better okay. spot. Yeah, we'll we'll get better. Um, they didn't look so great either. Oh geez. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to say it to their faces. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful cross section of yeah, diversity, there's though. There's a Chrysa Gorgia. Yeah. You know that. That does feel like hemicorallium. Oh, what's... That looks big? just like it. Is that a flytrap yeah. anemone there on the left? Yep. Top left? Okay. Oh, yeah. But without a coral? 
Yeah, is it just... No, it's on something. something. I think it. it's on something. I think it's attached to something. I wonder if they have a specific, zoom in, Dave? specific coral that they like to munch. I've seen them with a lot of primnoids. Uh Oh, hard to tell what that was. That one looks kind of feathery. I think it's a black coral. Yeah. Yeah, that's a black coral. A uh, schizopathid of some sort. I lied, not schizopathid. This is so weird. The only times we've seen these are on corals. Yeah. Um, schizopathid? Yeah, it's a schizopathid uh, parantopathies species. All right, I think we're good on that one. All right. Yeah, good, thank you. Fish. Paula, how are you doing with these IDs? Do you need help with any of them? I am getting the hang of it, actually. As soon okay, as you cool, say it, cool. and I know it's a black curl, I can get it here. So okay. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot that we're going by, so. Yes. I, yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely let you know. Thank There's you. There's just so. <laughs> yeah, okay. I appreciate it. In terms of, like, like, keeping stock of all of them, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, sometimes I just write them in the same sentence <laughs> just yeah. to make sure that I okay, get all cool, of it. Okay, cool, cool. It's a lot of the same things. Can we zoom on this, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just every time I'm like, should we? And he's like, okay. And then <laughs> we stop, which is good. <laughs> There's some dead corals. Perfect. <sighs> it looks like some zoanthids. Got me excited. Why does it look like there's something on the bottom of it? Oh, on the what? On the bottom of the screen. What is that? That is a uh, still camera. Yeah, still camera, oh, like um, the hood on it. Cusk there's a eel. fish. And we do have a rock question. What do you think this very fine layered rock is? I think it is uh, kind of sedimentary rock from Ooh, when this, this flat top oh, wow. seamount was Rain. up at sea level. Uh -huh. So probably the eroded bits of the island oh, or oh, corals. What? Over Where are we? <laughs> what the heck? We're in, under a ledge. <laughs> oh, oh. What? Oh. <laughs> so much diversity. <laughs> that was really fun. Oh, dude, what is that? Uh, that could be. What that rock is is too close. Yeah. 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 <laughs> can we zoom on this very large mass? Jules, can you try to describe a little bit of the diversity that we're having oh, here? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, we'll do my best. I think we have a what about these long, skinny whip ones? Okay, Dave, can I'd you say zoom? this is bamboo. We have some dead sponges. Once I figure out this one, I'll have a better idea of the others, but we definitely have some norella in here. Um, this could be bamboo, it could be permnoid. Uh, Shrimp. There's so many. They are. Oh, and there's oh, but this some makes me so happy. Faraday. Faraday's sponges in the yeah, back. Yeah, some Faraday sponges. That wow. looks like a plexorid. Oh, there's a that skeleton. Looks like it a is bamboo. Cup corals. Yeah. That is beautiful. I want to call these bamboo. And there's yeah, a crinoid, and there's right. another crinoid. <coughs> and Are we going to do a niskin here? We probably should. Probably should. 
Yeah, just a lot of that kind of weight. Um, Let's make sure we zoom out and kind of take a look at everything when yeah. we do that Niskin. I wish it was brighter. Yeah, that's impressive. a large sponge back there too. Wow. Oh, there's so much. So what's this, a primnoid? That's a plexorid. Plexorid. These are bamboos. Those are bamboo. And then I think, wah, what, what is Whoa. this nonsense? <laughs> um, there's some Norella mixed in there for sure. Uh, we have our bioherm right here. Oh, and all of it right on a rock. That <laughs> looks like it could be. <laughs> yeah, no one cares. Uh, nobody asked. <laughs> Can you zoom in again, Dave? Could that be it? The color is interesting to me. What is that? Why is it that color? I don't know. That one looks more like a prim node in front of it. I don't there's know if it's happening in that branch. There's a little bit of hemichorallium. They're all like little babies. And there's a Chrysogorgia behind it. And there's some hydroids. No, it's a plexoid. And, okay, I'm good on zoom. Thank you. It's almost a bower of coral here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. A gamut. <laughs> it's a gamut. I'm the word of the day was bower, though. I don't know. Well, <laughs> gamut is a recurring joke on this one. That looks like uh -huh. Magnus <laughs> too. Portia Former word those. of the day. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's Magnus Peralis. Oh, man. oh yeah. really? Oh, I guess I we're just so. looking straight down yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. I wonder how long it would they take really me like this if we one just rock. stayed here until I figured out what everything was. Yeah, thanks, thanks Bob. I heard rock. that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, without rocks, this ocean would go all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> all the way down. All the way down. Wow, look at all the associates in very that. yellow. I'm going to zoom in on Plexorid. this. Yeah. Yeah. It almost... So bright. Looks uh, covered in and, and br brittle stars. brittle stars. Oh wow! Yeah, it almost looks like paragorgia, but wow. I don't think so. I it's think just it's all it's just all the it's retracted uh, polyps. So, sorry. So what are we looking at? This Species? Is, uh, plexorid. With a bunch of ophiroids or yep. brittle stars living in it. Yep. Like a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. They're trying to get in on this flow. Oh, good focus. Oh, look at that. Beautiful Dave, focus, you're chef's a master. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did he that just say, perfect. I know? <laughs> That's like that scene from Star Wars. What is going on? We have a possible ID, a Canto Gorgia? You think it's on a Canto Gorgia? The I yellow? don't know. I don't think it's quite bushy enough, but maybe you're okay. right. Um, for everyone online, you guys are awesome with the species ID. Continue to send in your questions and let me see. Maybe it is a Canthagorgia because something about it is a little like, eh. <laughs> eh. I know what you're saying. I'm feeling it. Yeah, so it's like a little sus. Like can we, uh, oh, sus, I know that word. You know that <laughs> one? That's what the kids say these days. Can we, uh, That's what the kids say. Get that Niskin. Oh, yeah. Huh. Is this a good spot right here? I mean, I would get a little closer. I'm Not think too close. I don't know how far away we are from that, to it's be honest. Not very far, really. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> if we're within a, you know couple few meters and I guess we're yeah, good. Yeah, I think. Someone wake up, Steve. We're right please. over it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. 
Where did my chat go? Oh. Which one are we doing? So we have Niskin bottles three to six available. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that's a Canthagorgia. I think uh, whoever commented that was right. Sorry to second guess you, whoever you are. <laughs> Please don't take offense. <laughs> Also, how did you know? Mm. <laughs> well, we have some amazing so viewers. Long-time viewers, too. Can you give me some leash? Ah, we're losing it here. Arr. Those ones do look like pucks, though. Three? Three is good. Yep. Come on, number three. Okay. Sample secured? Sample secured. Crab That's with anemone. Zero, three, nine. Yep, zero, three, nine. So the... Uh, Coral and flytrap anemone were one one sample number for zero three eight. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Shout out to Netherlands with the question: What happens to all the specimens that we take? So. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can answer that. Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, a lot of these specimens will go back to the Museum of Comparative Zoology. Um, a lot of them will go to researchers who have requested specific things from us. Um, the rock samples will be going back to um, URI. Mm -hmm. What is the specific? Um, Marine Geo Samples Laboratory. All those places, the Museum of Comparative Zoology and Sample Laboratory are uh, people can request those samples or pieces of those samples or you know whatever they need for their research so all of it becomes available to the scientific community science anything else you want to do here before we continue on i mean just appreciate the glory can do and then move on okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah once you feel like you've taken it in okay i think we ought to take a moment to center ourselves and then drive away can okay. we? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can we look at those corals? <laughs> oh my god. It looks a little bit like we a scleric We didn't get very far. <laughs> we did not get very far. I actually I have to take a bathroom break, so enjoy your. You might want to go like as fast as you can. <laughs> we wanted to zoom on this one? Yes, please. Zoom in. I am guessing. I have no guess, actually. What is this? Could that be a scleractinian? Oh my god, you're asking the wrong guy. No, I don't no. think that's a scleractinian. Uh, it actually looks like a fired coral. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, it could be a, it could, uh, could, uh, could, could be a plexorid, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Like a white plexorid. Yep. A possible ID, a white paragorgia. White pa That's on our list. A um, list? Collection list? That's yeah. on a collection list. And you guys are awesome. Everyone online? But I don't know Top if tier. it's a paragorgia. But last time I uh, doubted someone, I was wrong. So, what do you think? I mean, if it's on the list, if we're right here, then we should probably grab it. If we could grab it, that would be super awesome. Can we zoom out, Dave? 
And uh, this is a snip and slurp? Sure. Snip and I'm slurp. Guessing. Although, that looks like a pretty burly skeleton. The yeah. high potential for oh. lodging in the... So, should we just grab it? It's going to have to get yeah. mixed, right? Yeah, maybe just grab it. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a specific request from one of our scientists to shore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is a Paragorgia. Now, was there something additional to that request? A Paragorgia being eaten by something or something? If, yeah, if we could get with an associate. Oh, with associate. Yeah, but... Are you going to be able to bump into that uh, yeah, right there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Can we zoom in a tad there, Dave? Those look more, or also, those look more like, uh, like more <laughs> Canthagorcha. <laughs> Is that a mollusk or and, a crab? And what's the plan here for this attack? Um, uh, <laughs> like, where, where do we want it? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't... I don't know that I would slurp it just because I think it's going to get yeah. stuck in the hose. Uh, so it would have to be a starboard uh, ooh, box. Ooh, ooh. We got an Argus ground there, or Atalanta ground there. Come on, be cooperative. Can we uh, push the drawer out? Not the, the porch, I mean. Porch out, yeah. I'm very excited that we found this because I was oh, feeling kind of doubtful. Mm. So it's very beanie. Yeah. Very it's beanie. The camera okay, is it? It's, yeah. What on earth? It's right is in the that? way. What is that <laughs> noise? Is someone making a smoothie? A server restarted down here. Okay. Oh, um, okay. It sounded like something was about to take flight. <laughs> Probably Mike working on something. All right. Stay still. No one move. <laughs> are you just perched on a ledge there? I'm just driving straight into it. Y'all are awesome. We're okay. taking a sample for me. For now. Much thanks. <laughs> Looks stable. Okay. Where is this sample being requested from, Jules? I would have to check. Let me get back to you on that. It's okay. I think it might be an Oscovich. You oh, think it's? Well, in that it's case, Steve? we can definitely do it. <laughs> Anything for Steve. Yeah. Um, let me ask Brian. Can we see that camera? Can you look at it with bubble, see what's going on with it? Bubble cup. Yeah, it's fine. Can we zoom in, Dave? Aren't you glad we zoomed? <laughs> no one is glad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are glad. Come on. Interesting that they're not, oh, okay, they retracted. It's crumbly. Yep. It's a very crumbly one. That's what I expected. Crumbly ones are hard.
And hard ones are crumbly. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. man. Huh. Oh, maybe. I can't see it very good when I do it this way, though. This one's a challenge. Yeah, thank you for taking a chance on this one for me. That's cool. See how fragile it is? It's yeah. Like you breathe on it and it's gonna break. I think you got it trapped. Yep. I think the. Yep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Last goal. It's not in the basket yet. Yeah, don't no. say no. Okay. Halfway there. Shutting <laughs> <laughs> up. We're going, we're going into the Which area. bin? So we have available oh, on the starboard E and more Stupid smaller, so the B, C, and D. Okay, we want one of the B, C, D. Want me to do your camera? Awesome. Yeah. Ah! It's on the ledge there, it's on the... Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good, good drop. <laughs> right there. Oh, wow. Oh. I thought it was lost and gone forever. He's zoom in more, Dave. The silence says it all. Mm -hmm. Is anyone else holding their breath? Because yeah. I am. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be breathing. We're cheering you on. <laughs> oh. Well, it's more on the deck, so that's good. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah.
Could it go in with the coral we just sampled before? Yeah, that's fine. Why well, don't you put it in the front? Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can get it to the starboard side. Tell me, tell me when you want me to pull yeah, there. Draw out. Which side? Omega. Master class and like <laughs> delicate <laughs> craft arm manipulation. Ooh, marvelous job. What do you think of that, Mr. Craft? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whew. Huh. All right. Go to the bathroom Fortune. now. We gotta. We gotta move. <laughs> uh, let me get up yeah, here. Why did you put that on? The line? <laughs> okay. Fortune. <laughs> okay, um, science, well, ROV is getting set up again. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the dive. We've got two hour, no, sorry, we've got one hour on bottom. Uh, one hour and three minutes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been a Delta. Charlie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Using the last three minutes for a rock sapling. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, 230 meters to waypoint four, and then we have 200 meters, 210 meters to waypoint five. Um, oh, waypoint five's out. Okay, great. Making sure that that was the case still. So. Oh my God! And we've look been. At this. It's gorgeous. This is amazing. And we've been averaging about 200 meters per um, hour, okay. based on our <laughs> our pace. Um, so if we're still aiming to get to the top of or get to waypoint four, um, we then we should be on, on time. That one, Some basket stars. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So um, you know we're get to the top waypoint four doesn't matter you know and okay. even getting just to the, the top, top doesn't it. matter you know we'll just kind of keep going up and see what we see Great. oh my god wow that is wow. beautiful oh look at that basket star what? that is one organism that is one basket star wow what yeah. is that it's basket a star, basket <laughs> star. <laughs> <laughs> but, even on the one on the top yeah it yeah. looks like a tumbleweed yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's it looks like there's another one there on the right yeah yeah, those are incredible. Wow. I'm lurking in the studio. The first time I saw one of those, I so did not have any idea what it was. And I tried to sample it, and it just, nope. like, all those little tentacles <laughs> got all over highlight. the manip, and we couldn't get it off. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And all the different corals that are part of this cluster? There's it's primnoids. There's crazy. This is awesome. Wow. All the brittle stars living there. Mm. Thank you, rocks, for providing this <laughs> home. <laughs> Thank you, Rocks. Bountiful <laughs> feast. Thank you, corals. What? Okay. But there's like uh, that green on the dead corals. Is that like, what is that? Oh, or is that the coral that has the gold skeleton? <gasps> no. Yeah. Real gold? Yeah. Well, no. Fool's <laughs> um, gold. No, no, but that, that's that's the one. Wow. Um, oh. It's a. Uh, why did Jules go to the path? I know this is the first time. To. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've seen this before. I don't remember the name of it. Um, but yeah, that, that's the color of a skeleton. It's, it's completely beautiful in, in person, too. Hmm. Jules is missing out. <laughs> well, I guess we have to stay here now until she gets back. Wow. So Nemini is tucked back in there, too. Right. Is the uh, Thurber cam on? Oh, dude, we need you. Yeah, we need you. What or coral it has a that gold it. skeleton? Is it the skeleton or is it zoanthids? 
It's a, it's a skeleton. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, yeah, we've processed it before in, on a different cruise. Okay, okay. Um, ooh. What is going on here? A lot. A lot. Are those zoanthids or just really large polyps? Those. Oh, good question. You zoom in some more, Dave. I think so there's I got a bunch of zoanthids here. Oh, you got. Here. Yes, sir. Uh, I gotta get closer. Yes, sir. If you can. <laughs> I don't know what the yellow. Because it looks like the yellow belongs to the same coral here. Yeah. It does. Gold skeleton. Yeah, coral. we've we've processed a coral on board that has a gold skeleton, like a metallic skeleton. Um, it's so. Um, but what? I'm totally blanking on the name of it. I've and never seen this before. Okay, I'll look through the guides. Yeah, in in real in in life, like or kind of when it's back on the ship, it, it usually looks more like a kind of dull bronze. Okay. Um. So I don't. I, I'm assuming this is just the way the light's reflecting. Yeah. Nonetheless, pretty. Um. Do you see any? I don't think it's a bamboo, right? I think those are zoanthids. Yeah, those are definitely yeah. zoanthids. And there's something funky going on with this with part. That. What is that? Yeah, we're looking at this part with what the little fine little on? things off of it. There's a lot happening here. There's so much there's happening. Like. <laughs> this could be a wallpaper. Oh yeah. So I asked, is the Thurber cam firing? Uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. It's yes, on. It's on with the it's intervalometer. On. Yeah. It's on the intervalometer. Mm -hmm. Good. That tumbleweed is that a type of coral? The tumbleweed, the tumbleweed is a star. That's a star. That's a star. Wow. And there's uh, a, another fly trip. Yeah. And like uh, so many ophiroids wow. just going to town. Is that a mimicry mechanism when the basket star looks like just something else? Yeah. <laughs> <Like, laughs> Ooh, does this look like it too? Yes. Is that its mouth right there? Okay. Yes. Primalid. I have a possible ID. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh boy, this name is long. Paracali. Trophora? Paracalyptrophora. Paracalyptrophora. Yeah, Paracalyptrophora. That was a team effort. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> it's going to take a couple wow. of minutes. Wow. Huh. I got wow. text from from Rennie. From who? From Renato Kane. Renato. You're gonna share it with the class? Yeah, he he liked uh, the <laughs> magic volcano and pocket dove. <laughs> 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 the what? <laughs> when your 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 advisor who got his eyebrows burnt, like <laughs> you said. His eyebrows disappeared, or something like that. Yeah. So it made me think of magic. Oh, the dove! <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's for so sure. So we cool to move on from here? I'm good personally. Okay. Okay. Get ready to move yeah. one and a half feet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was incredible. <laughs> that was really cool. That's the most biodiversity we've seen in like two feet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look Here's at it just tree. like right on the ridge of this thing, you know? Yeah. That's oh, the some spot sea to pens be. down there. Too far Ooh, to. Ooh, look like goalposts. Get past Penetalacia. Are those fish? No, I think they're. Are th those sea are sea pens. Those are sea pens. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. I thought oh, there were wow. fish too. A whole lot of crinoids. So many crinoids with their heads missing. Yeah. We have a question from a viewer. Would this cluster be a symbiotic relationship or will the basket star slowly take over the other organisms? That's basket star, as far as I know, do not uh, eat corals. Yeah, they're Much there like just to get a good spot to get in the oh. flow and... Yeah, they're just there for the flow. Yeah. Sea stars, on the other hand, asteroids. Can't say the okay. same for them. Are you gonna go, are you moving? You think? Yep. I'm still looking at corals. Okay. This is the end of the rock. I think we can do it. All right. Bridge, Nav. Three zero meters, two nine five, please. Whoa, massive sea pens. RV, we're at two nine five now. Two nine five, all right. A bunch of coral on that rock too. So I'm going to suggest we keep moving a bit. Oh, what's that? that? A, that's a fish in there. Chonoclops. Oh, that's oh. That's one of those frog things there. Sorry for the, <laughs> the loud noise. Want to zoom in, Dave? Ooh. Wacky Wait, eyed what? fish. No, wait, it's yeah. What? It's Chonic, <laughs> not Chonicops. It's cute and scary so at the same time. So cute. cute. Total highlight. Oh, no. So cute. Oh, my God. Those are, someone, you can't tell put, me those aren't put, hot glue googly eyes. Yeah, no, I was going to yeah, say, like someone put googly eyes on the googly <laughs> eyes. The way they move around is so funny. I love it. Hello. Wow. Huh, it's interesting. They're, what? I guess I've <laughs> mostly seen a pink Look. color on them, not a gray one. It's very spiky. They're cousins. They're different. They're different ones. Ah. Mm -hmm. From the okay. pink ones. And what is it doing all the way up here? I feel like I would expect to see it, like, closer to the sediment. It's an ambush predator. It doesn't want to do what you oh. expect it to do. Oh. <laughs> Anywhere you least expect it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, keep moving. Can we repeat the name real quick? Chonix. C H A U N A X. Chonix. H A U. Are you my fish, Dave? Cuskiel? No, no. U. Yeah, Cuskiel. N A R. No. X. How was it? He said X. 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 How would you get like? Oh, uh, one of our viewers said a spiny happy fish. Oh, from Moya, <laughs> New Zealand. Um, those sea pens that we saw, I think they're both Halopteris. One sec. Okay. Is that the fish that has knees? Okay. Uh, Ship moves underway. That's the ID, Jules, for the uh, sea pens? Dude, for the two sea pens we stuff, saw. Though. I know. Oh, what in the world is that? This is it's another fly trap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Just we can keep going. We can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Smile and nod. I got some new plectellids. Uh, that looks like Faraday. So some plexorids, some norella, some those brown looking primnoids. Looks like there's a, a ledge on the sauna, I don't know. Right. We do have some viewers that are concerned with the uh, bio box being sealed, that the stem, it won't ruin the coral sample. Yeah, luckily that coral sample is big enough that if a little bit of the stem gets bent we Don't still have we still have the rest yeah. of it is okay. still fully intact okay
Thank you for clarifying. And that box is not perfectly sealed. No. Unless you guys, did you print a new seal for that? No, it turns out it just pushed back. So the seal was fine. It just oh, it's oh. just a little further back in there. Yeah, you just gotta, you gotta take the lid, lift it off and then pull the seal back into place. Oh, okay. whole lot of primnoids and some yes. plexors mixed in. Wow. 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 <laughs> this is the good stuff. And honestly, right? Look at all those. Thank, thank you for rocks. Yes. <laughs> I Bad. totally forgot for a second. <laughs> I got distracted by the corals. Oh, there's a Victor <laughs> Gorgia. Wow. Wow. What's the little opening of the sponge called? An osculum or something? Yeah. I love that. That's cool. That's probably Whoa. a euclid toilet over there. What is going on at the base of this coral? What do you mean? Oh, the hydroids. Wow, are those all hydroids? Or, I think, actually, well, so there's okay, a sponge there. You want to zoom in? There's an, uh, uh, and then maybe a bunch of zoanthids or something down there. Or is that dead sponge underneath? Oh, yeah. that is sponge and zoanthids and... Uh, Happy little ophiaroids. And dead sponge and crinoids. <laughs> That's a... Actually, <laughs> those aren't zoanthids. That's just dead sponge. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that black crinoid. Whoa. A vampire crinoid. What? <laughs> Did you make that up just now? I don't I thought, know. Is that a thing? Oh, it's either that or Nutella crinoid. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes look it's at hard that. to that differentiate. That is so what? cool. They're black wow. crinoids. With gold legs. I haven't seen that. <laughs> those are zoanthids. Can confirm. I guess I've seen a lot of purpley crinoids, but never that like. Yeah. Vanta black crinoid. And look at those are like yellow. Yeah. It's a crab under the lasers. Crab. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Not happy. Not happy. Yeah, so some of this yellow is plexorid, some of it is acanthogorgid. Another Whoa, Faraday sponge. Look at what this. is so that? pretty? <gasps> wow. So pretty. Can we zoom oh, in wow. on the purple? I'm not convinced that it's Victor Gorgia. The little purple or the bigger the purple? The one to the left. I I think it's, wh what else could it be? I don't know any other purple ones. It oh, could be like. The stem is very purple, or no, the, what do you call that? Skeleton. To be a little See, some set plexorid is purple. Mm. So I'm wondering if it's that. I think it's a purple plexorid. Okay. You get no argument from me. You good? Yep. yep. Thank you. I gotta get moving here. Oh. Yeah. Do we like just finished a move, so you got all time. I'm waiting for you to catch up before continuing. Oh, uh, Jules, did you mention purple plexorid? Yeah, a purple plexorid. Thank you. You have a smudge on your lens there? Yeah, do you see how that's... Um, I think I'm just... Hold on. Uh, yeah, it's See how the branching is different? Oh. Huh. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm not looking at the right stuff necessarily. Whoa, 
another coral garden. Yay. Yeah, I guess I see a difference between that and the one that's right up here. Yeah. If I can just scroll. Wow. <laughs> okay, happy for a move? Yep. Yeah. Bridge now. Oh, whoa, wait. Oh. <laughs> Three zero meters, two nine five, please. It looks like we have some euplectelids mixed in here too. Oh, oh. I. That's another. Uh, plexorid. Plexorid. Purple. Purple. That's a lively boulder. I <laughs> think. And if I'm wrong, sue me. Oh, Don't I will. Don't sue me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Bold. On behalf of. <laughs> All deep sea creatures. <laughs> Class action against jewels. I'm gonna be served by a, a cusk eel. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be the ones, would they? And then they'd swim directly into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, thought that was a door. <laughs> oh, Jules. Jules, would you say there's a dominant species here? Um, I'm seeing a whole lot of primnoids. Thank you. I'm gonna do a reset at some point. Although, reset on a cliff face probably isn't <laughs> ideal, is it? <laughs> uh, yeah. We have no beams, so I would say no. Roger. <laughs> no beams. Oh. Looks like we have a rigid wall coming up again there. Yeah. Legit wall there. Yeah. A rigid wall. Hmm? Yes. Very. Tell, tell us <laughs> how that differs from <laughs> squishy walls. Baskets. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't want to run into it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like those those soft walls back home. It's one of Ooh, them hard I think walls. This, I think this would be a good question. Why is yeah. there such a diverse amount of color for corals in the deep sea if there is no light? Mm, good question. Um, That's a good one. You know, mostly animals in the deep sea, just in general, are in like red, orange, brown, white shades um, because red light doesn't penetrate that deep in the ocean. Um, and so they're pretty much invisible to everything around them. Um, the other thing I've heard, which struck me as logical, is that a lot of the creatures in the deep sea came from shallower depths and evolved to fill the, the niche of the deep sea. So they had the, you know, innate ability to make color and have evolved to colors that are beneficial for them. Yeah, there's also theories about, like, attracting prey, that, like, color might have something to do with that. Um, although I don't think that's... Uh, there isn't much research in that area. That's something that people have, a question that people have asked. Um, yeah, sometimes yeah. I think it might just be byproducts, like Adam mentioned, from mm -hmm. a, from its ancestors when yeah. they capture food and they just have right. that type of chemical byproducts in their system, so shows. Samantha, whereabouts are we in our move? Uh, we are about halfway through a 30 meter move. Okay. So if you had an interest in a rock in a few minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. We are I'm almost gonna, like, to the gonna top. get very vertical here in a minute. Yeah. We've got about 50 meters until we really flatten out. Well, we could flatten out in about 20. Just depends on what. Yeah, I see that. I know that's what I mean. So, oh, what's that? Twenty? Yeah. So after twenty, after forty. Forty. On the top of that? Yeah. Yeah. Dunk it. 
<laughs> so let's do another move and then look for a rock. How about that? Like finish this move or? Uh, another move after this. Okay. So we're looking at the sonar and there's a ledge up here that we want to get up and over before we look for your. But the thing I wanted was right from the middle of the wall. Uh, no, just like kidding. Jenga? <laughs> Bridge now. Let's add uh, three zero meters, please. I have a feeling this can be epic coral. That's correct, it. thanks. I would agree. Wow, look at the Atlanta view. Nice. You know, one thing that's cool about working in the deep sea is if this were on land, can you imagine how hard it would be to walk around and get to all these places? <laughs> the fact right. that we can basically hover everywhere yep. is <laughs> really helps. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's very true. I never thought about it like that. All right. Going up. Rudder. How many floors do we think this is? One. Six. Okay. Two. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at <laughs> that. These corals Keeping like up with the me. overhang. Yeah, Four. What is that? What? Whoa. <laughs> Do we have a theory why the corals like to be on right vertical? Up. This yeah. is something that Brian is really interested in, uh, associations between coral communities and um, the like features, yeah, the it has geological a lot features. Most to do with kind of this is where the place you have flow. You know, you got a current yeah. coming along you've made the space it has to go through smaller it. Nope. it speeds nope. up so you get more no going trans. through there yeah. and also a lot of upwelling i would imagine mm -hmm. so interesting that's actually related to a question from a viewer why this density of corals um well, so i think some they don't touch each other so why sparse mm -hmm. on some rocks and almost like How a many force more on others we get to move? 20. yeah really? I, All right. I, I would i would kind of say that they're We're like okay. Okay. it's dependent on food yeah. right like they're the more food there is, the denser they can be. Yeah. Starting to see the... So, um, yeah, the other side. I guess the question is, could they be anywhere? When they broadcast their babies, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, oh, well. do they land everywhere well, and they just kind of grow where the conditions are favorable? I think we started right. at 1140 meters, yeah, right? Yeah, essentially. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, when corals spawn, yeah. they release gametes into the water column, and then a... This is the top. I don't yeah. think it's called a zygote. Okay. A uh, zygote, I'm going to use that term, uh, <laughs> forms, and then or will settle somewhere, plus. and then begin to grow. And so, yeah, I, I don't know if it has to do with, like... Uh, like if it can survive in that location or if there's some way that corals have like ad adapted or learned in some way to grow in specific places. What was I'm it, 60? Sure. Maybe they Maybe just the have higher 60, fitness. Yeah. Where the flow Meters, is yeah. higher yeah. is yeah. where that's they end up force. landing oh, as well. Oh, that's a good theory too. <laughs> yeah. But it must be hard for them to settle on a vertical Thing. Yeah, right. how is that happening? <laughs> must be right. Burj Khalifa kind of tall, but. Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a great question. Okay, so science, we've got about 10 meters left on a move here. Are we interested in looking around here? We, we do think we're at the top. That was about a 
50 plus meter tall cliff, which is Yeah, I would slide to the right and see if there's anything that looks pick up a bull. Pick up a bull. Pick up a bull. We're just in the nick of time. 20 minutes left of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a 30 minute procedure that we're going <laughs> to. Yeah. Well, it could be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the first six that we <laughs> try for are going to be solidly embedded. Yeah. I don't know. Looks Watching like her coming up that wall reminded me of a scene from, from a movie sometime. Was, uh, you going to tell us which movie? Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 just, yeah, we'll just leave it there. there. Okay. Uh, Fast and Furious? Yeah. <laughs> 27. Oh, my gosh. You like that movie? No. Oh. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> the Ocean Edition. Oh that my would actually gosh. be a good one. Fast and Sub Furious. racing. Fish. Was there anything else about the scene you want to tell us about? Or? <laughs> Just a random comment. Okay. <laughs> Maybe someone from the audience could help. <laughs> I have a, I have a, a movie pitch. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm okay. so excited for that. It's a, it's a submersible thriller. It's <laughs> the Italian job meets oh. Alvin. Oh, okay. perfect. So the, Alvin. The... <laughs> There's, you got you got to steal Alvin. Basically, is what's going to happen, and so you got to have people in on it. You got to incapacitate the the pilot. You didn't want to call it Oceans like 15 or no, something. No, that's, that's <laughs> a franchise. Or Alvin's. <laughs> I, they already got that. Alvin's 15. <laughs> well, there was that okay, cartoon you, about stealing Alvin. Right, that's the true. Pinky, Pinky in the brain. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been done. Take okay. Over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're finishing that, that move. One. Yeah. That one? What? It looks. Have you seen a rush? Well, I mean, it looks like that there. one might come free. Oh. Uh, Isn't there a round one there too? Right in the middle. That kind of. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, we're hunting for rocks. I don't know. They're I just forget that rocks look much bigger and animals look much. Oh, and Wait, there's, oh, look, the there's a little around? crab under oh, that one. Oh, and there's a little crab under that one. Or or oh. any of these, but these all look kind of cemented pretty, in. They're pretty, yeah. I'll give you some leaf start. They're locked in. I'm still hanging over that ledge there. What's hanging over the ledge? Me. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That was great in your That's where I want to be. <laughs> right. Okay. Coming down. Let's get this rock and get this watch to bed. <laughs> We're all <laughs> losing it. <laughs> I think I lost it before I walked in here. <laughs> Week one. <sighs> also looks like you might be able to get underneath that one. Maybe. That's what I was looking at. All right. What's going on here? There you go. Yeah, that was the one. You know when you bite your Come lip on. and then you bite it again? Just jump right in the hand. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Very attached. No, no jumping. I'll retract my statement. <laughs> Ow. That one's definitely glued in. Yeah. But you're going to try it anyway, huh? You never know. <laughs> you can get lucky. Sometimes. That looks like a potato. Yeah. It does. <laughs> uh, doesn't work like a like potato, potatoes. though. Yeah, I don't see anything to here find that's... Out, uh, just to lick it. What about I mean, that one on the left that Adam was looking at? To You're going to have to pan if you can. Pan if you can. Pan if you can. I think it's too... Uh, it's out of frame. Nope. Yeah, there's nothing happening here. All right. Keep looking. Keep looking. We've got one minute to look, <laughs> and then we have 15 <laughs> minutes to collect. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're a little shallower than anticipated, so a couple more minutes. Don't tell them that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're at the playground, and... Adam getting a, getting a five-minute <laughs> warning. 
They just had a couple minutes, so now you have three minutes to find a rock. <laughs> There's all these critters around here too. That doesn't make it Shrimp. easier. Yeah, everything looks loose from a couple meters away. glass sponge. This one's in the dirt there? No. They're not coming up. What are you looking at, like these guys? Yeah. I don't know, possibly. Yeah. Those are the ones that fool you though, right? They're yeah. in the sand and then it turns out the sand isn't, it's only an eighth of an inch thick and then it's concrete. You gotta touch them all, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Rock poke. Are we going in starboard or front? I think that's starboard. all we can do. Uh, can we give it a spin real quick? Or starboard are we side. sure on time for that? Maybe if we no, no, we can you. spin it. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Very uh, change much. over to sample. Good. Uh, let me get it around the, the horn here. So this is the oh, yeah, so the. The outer box, the front outer one, there, E. Okay, draw out. All right. Draw out. Bueno. Care to come in? Yep. Switch back to dive. Yep. Awesome. Any housekeeping we need to do? I don't think so. We keep it on our plates. I don't know. <laughs> Probably should if we don't have that. If we oh, have less yeah, distance to go. That in there. <laughs> uh, there are no plates. They've <laughs> 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 already been deflated. Deflated rudder. Okay. Well, we've got 10 minutes. Let's drive. Keep going uphill. It's kind of like a slow start recovery. I could do that. I'll do a small move. Bridge now. Okay. 
of me. Let's do a two zero meters, two nine five, please. Ooh. Uh, two zero meters, please. Thanks. Whoa, large Whoa. corals over there. Dang. Huh. Oh, what's that on that coral? Fighting uh, squat lobsters. Zoom in, Dave. Huh. Oh, wow. This one doesn't have the anemone, right? Mm, no? Correct. Yeah, just a couple... Oh, oh, there's two. Them. There's two. They're two. Yeah. Oh, I think they're. There's something oh. happening. Are they fighting between them? Why are they wrestling? <laughs> I don't really like the way that they move that much. Okay. 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 <gasps> they're gonna hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> Move starting. It was two nine zero. Two nine five. Two nine five. This place is pretty amazing. I was going to yeah. say, a pretty nice spot. <laughs> and we made it to the top. We're passing over the final contour. All right, let's go. skeletons there. Yeah. They get sedimented oh, wow. out maybe. Hmm. Some of these corals are really old. <coughs> so many crinoids. I know. Do they live a long time? Yeah, do they? <laughs> um, I actually don't know specifically, but I would assume so because most uh, deep sea organisms are slow growing and long living. Um, wow, it's a whole field of them back there. Wow, that's really cool. Just incredible. Also, so ancient. Yeah. Not individually, but as a species. Uh huh. <laughs> Just. Yeah, some of these are pretty large, too. Yeah. So I would assume they're quite old. Wow. Makes me wonder if my lawn needs to be mowed at home. <laughs> There's a holothurian. Oh, where? Are you sure that's not a sponge? Oh. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh, darn it. Missed it. Okay, that move is finishing. Any last zooms? I think I'm all set for zooms. Are you sure? It's that big coral there right in the middle. <laughs> wow. 
Cool. Come on up. Roger. Ready to go up? Yeah. Look, we're already set up. Already Perfect. Set up. Right. I'm going to unwrap and. We do have a viewer asking um, if the warm water gets into the box as it ascends, would it cause any problems? You have a concern with the sampling, but it's sealed. Uh, it's sealed. I mean, yeah. If if it, I mean, all of these things are going to suffer. They're not going to necessarily live, and we're not trying to. We don't have the like aquaria on board to, you know, keep them at their right conditions. But um, yeah, the colder you can keep it, the better shape they're going to be in when they get, you know, into the lab for okay. identification and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, generally it's it is not an yep. issue, really. Oh, no. Okay. I think they're just concerned that the if the war, because the, 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 the stem was outside of the, the bio box, so if warm water seeps into the bio box, they're just worried that all of our hard work would. Oh, no, I, yeah. think, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Awesome. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it out of auto head. Yep. That's zero reps. Uh, Good night, deep sea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the old crinoid whispering hush. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're going to be early. Well, that makes up for our. Uh, yeah, Couple put put this in my ledger. <laughs> <laughs> forty six minutes, forty five minutes. Uh -oh. Okay. You get back telestrator pokes for being early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam, when is our next uh, dive? Is there a plan for in place for our next dive? Yeah, we're gonna have about. Uh, half a day of mapping, mm. and then we're going to dive again, I would guess, tomorrow afternoon. This is lounge. 
<laughs> for our friends online, thank you so much for tuning in. We have our friends from the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, France, Finland, Sweden, the Russian Federation, Philippines, New Zealand, Netherlands, Maldives, Lithuania, Italy, Hong Kong, Germany, Belgium, and Barbados. Thank you so much for exploring with us. Tune in tomorrow. It's going to be even better than today. Mm -hmm. You mean more rocks? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Sometimes it's not about how the rocks look. It's about the story that they tell us. <laughs> it's the inside. That's deep. <laughs> yeah, people touch speed. Do you guys have a place you want to travel to? Hmm. On your bucket list, like the first place. Ooh. I want to go to Iceland. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Europe. Spain. I don't have a specific place, but I do want to go to a place where I can swim with whale sharks and orcas. What? <laughs> Do not do not swim with orcas. They will kill you. No, but you can't. They oh, do that. Oh, watch out! Jesus. They, do, they do that. I'd like in, to I go think where they nice throw thing. knives at you. you can no, I think they'll sharks. eat you. The Philippines? No, because they're trench. Orcas? Trans I think they only eat fish. Or supposed to sleep. No. no. Supposedly. They eat, they eat sharks. No. <laughs> no, it's a tour thing. You go and swim with orcas. It's a thing. I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah. Take and your money. I and think then it's in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Due to the orcas. Holy moly! I don't know. I mean, about that, that would be. I'm trying to think of where I'd like to go. I want to go to the Arctic. Mm. Oh. Because, yeah. This expedition. Cool. I think only a few thousand people can go a year. This expedition, literally on top of the world. Wow. Mm. Been there. What? Done that. Not. What? Me. It's cold. Are you serious? <laughs> it's cold. Come on now. How long were you there? Well, I lived in Alaska for 45 years. Wow. And I spent time uh, about everywhere in the state. I should have a few minutes left um, on my ship. Into so I can the, help you. Uh, to the North Slope, to the oil fields, Prudhoe Bay. Hmm. So you've, you obviously you've been to some amazing places. Is there any place that you wanna that you wanna visit? Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> True. Oh, we have a viewer. Gasp. So orca do not eat people. Come to New Zealand. High, ch high chance of catching an orca in the wild from Moya. Uh, I, I trust go Moya. I feel like she's a credible yeah. source. I want to go to American Samoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. I'm, I still, I'm still having that promise. Yeah. yeah. And I want to eat the uni and I want to eat the, the worms. Yeah, the polychae. I know it sounds like worms. It but does sound like worms. Well, what do they call them? They're polycade worms. I know, but what's the n name that people call them? Uh, pololo. Pololo. I'll eat yeah. pololo, but I don't want to eat worms. Just say pololo. Okay. <laughs> I got you guys. Oh, you know where I want to go? Um, Madagascar. Oh, wow. I like, want to the see those. Of like the penguins. Like the penguin. Yeah. No, I want to see lemurs. I want to see those trees, the baobab trees. Uh, yeah, that's where I'd like to go. Here we go, Adams. Look at this. You can <laughs> swim with orcas between October to January wow. in Norway. I'm sorry, we doubted you. I we totally gaslit you. We're like, I did. And so far, oh no news of people dying from it. Yeah, they suppress the those stories. <laughs> <laughs> huh, all right. I'm going to 
Okay, okay. I'm going to let you go first, though, Paolo, okay? <laughs> I did the whole shark cage that. thing, but I don't know if I'll do the orca. Well, you did the shark cage? The shark cage, cage. Oh. yeah. It was that fun. Were they interested in you? Or? Oh, yeah. I think the blue shark almost got into our cage about three times. Oh. It was it was eyeing us out, but it was oh. fun. But orcas is a whole other level, so I, I, I don't know. I worked up in the Sea of Osaka. Uh, the, we had uh, we used to crew change by boat, and uh, every time we ran in and out, we had an uh, orca's uh, bow right what? following wow. on the stern or on the bow. Huh. Beautiful. Never got tired of seeing it. Wow. I think the coolest, maybe the coolest thing I've seen while on a ship is coming into Costa Rica near port, so the the water was bioluminescent, oh. and it was at night, and there were dolphins swimming at the front of the ship, what? but you couldn't see them, but you could just see their like glowing outlines. Wow. Oh, it cool. sounds like a dream. Hey, yeah, you're right. I'm almost 100% sure it happened. <laughs> <laughs> really? We were offshore Costa Rica, uh, and there were, the, talking about the water being bioluminescent, there was, everything in the water what jellies and squid and and you could see them all and you could see them all yeah yeah is it something out of that movie life of pi or did you guys watch that i, I never seen saw that bone no. the tiger yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's a good movie there, yeah there's a scene where the whole entire water is bioluminescent and mm -hmm. you could see everything mm -hmm. wow that's amazing Annie, did you say where do you mm -hmm. want to travel, like on, on your bucket list? Yes, the Arctic. Oh, the Arctic. Yeah, or Antarctica. Yeah, that's fine. I should yeah. be going there in a year what? or so, so I'm really excited for that. Oh. That's so cool. Yes. That is amazing. We're going to go diving to get some samples. Wow. <laughs> samples of what? Diving. That's the thing, I, I don't know. You don't know? Diving in the Arctic. <laughs> Diving, I wow. I know wow. It's, to be a, it's supposed to be a, around the ecology of extreme environments. That's crazy. Wow. So Megan's husband, Tim uh, Dwyer, uh, has spent time in uh, in Antarctica, and he has a whole web page with his whole uh, blog uh, of when he was there in pictures, and he dove under the ice and, uh, and that kind of stuff. He was on with us last season. Really interesting stuff. He gave a whole presentation. Uh, with uh, his pictures of, of Antarctica. Show up just a little bit. I camped for five weeks in the dry valleys of Antarctica. Wow. You guys, wow. That sounds so cool. That is amazing. That's could get, cool. Uh, get a little glacier ice for your cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a crazy thing there, like apparently... I don't know, seals kind of go crazy <laughs> and they start to wriggle their way inland and then it's so cold and dry that they mummify. So you come across these mummified seals like huh. miles from shore. What? Huh. Wow. For anybody that's uh, yeah. that's interested in the bio bioluminescence, um, I read a book there about a year or so ago, uh, Below the Edge of Darkness by Dr. Edith Wider. I think the, that's the correct pronunciation. It's, uh, she's a submer she was a submersible pilot, RV pilot, and uh, marine scientist. Do you know her, Robert? What was the name Who's again? Uh, Dr. Edith Wider. Edith Wider. Edith Wider? Uh, Witter. Edie Witter. Witter. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Blue the Edge of Darkness. I read her, la her last book. It's uh, yeah, fascinating. Her, her life, her, her life um, from childhood is fascinating. Speeding up there. Again. <laughs> 